TV station under fire for reporting on a man with an AR-15 protesting gun control at a school bus stop. More after this. Hello everyone and welcome back to AFG's Point of View, where I give you my analysis of the most popular topics in the world today. Today's video, we have a man protesting gun control at a school bus stop. Before I dive into the details of the video, if you're new here, welcome. Welcome to AFG's Point of View. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well. The more awesome, loving, and wonderful people over, similar to yourself. I'm on normal subscribers. Thanks for coming back. I'm diving in. A local news station has come under fire after airing a segment featuring a man protesting recent gun restrictions by carrying an AR-15 near a school bus stop. The man identified as Jaden McAdory excuse me, was standing near an elementary school bus stop in Severn, Maryland, according to videos taken by parents and reported by WBAL TV, which is a Baltimore affiliate. Um, he was reportedly protesting against a recently enacted gun control law in Maryland by openly carrying an AR-15. The law requires people to demonstrate a particular need to get a license to carry a concealed weapon in public. The report covered by Tyler Taylor of WBAL TV sparked controversy due to its perceived sympathetic approach to the man's actions. Prior to the, t the prior to the segment's broadcast, Taylor took to Twitter to tease the story where he wrote, tonight on the television show, a man with an AR-15 has been showing up for weeks to a school bus stop drop off for local elementary school students. There's a video associated with this, so I'm gonna pause the video right here um, I'm going to actually let you guys watch that and um, I have some words I need to kind of share with you guys concerning this su particular subject. So stay tuned right after this. Cell phone video taken Wednesday shows a school bus dropping off Severn Elementary School students while a man with an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle in his hands looks on from across the street. Jamie Sparrow, the parent who recorded this video, says he's seen the man there for three weeks. I feel like if we don't do something about it now, then we'll be talking again, and it'll be too late at that point, you know? What do you mean by too late? I think that uh, lives could be lost, people could be harmed. Sparrow says besides the fear it's caused, sometimes the bus won't bring kids home because they've heard he's out there. The man with the gun is Jaden McAdory. And he says what he's doing is not about scaring parents or children. It's about protesting the recent gun control measures Governor Wes Moore signed into law. I really wasn't coming out here for the kids. I was coming out here to show people that this is legal. For parents who might ask, just because you can do this, does that mean that you should do this? No, it does not mean that. But I think that if I do this enough, that it will create enough deterrence from crime in the area. McAdory says earlier Thursday, he came to an agreement with school district officials that he will no longer protest publicly during school pickup or drop off times for local schools. Anne Arundel County police say in a statement that McAdory is permitted to do what he's doing under Maryland law and that officers, quote, are in the area to help ease growing concerns between students and parents. Sparrow, meanwhile, says he wants law enforcement to do something more. Especially, he says, after McAdory walked by Sparrow and his children recently and said this. He said, uh, you guys are looking at me like a bunch of scared bowling pins. Wow, bowling pins, you know what I mean? Uh, I guess you're the bowling ball if we're the bowling pins. Okay, so we got a guy who's standing out at a school bus stop where children in elementary school get on and get off of the bus. And we got a guy standing out there with an AR-15 because he wants to protest his gun rights. You know what I'm saying? I mean, number one, if I was a parent of one of those children that was out there in that area, I definitely would have called the authorities on it because at the end of the day, my child should not be having to worry about 
going to school every single day, worrying about if this guy's gonna, you know, go loco and then decide he's just gonna just empty the clip on one of us. You know what I'm saying? He may have a bad day and then all of a sudden he wants to start shooting the gun. Like no kid should have to go through anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, when you see guys doing stuff like that, it's, it's a red flag should just, you know, jump off, you know, the page and it's like, it should just get you to be like, well, wait a minute, okay. Something is not right and we need to get to the bottom of it. You can mention that to the authorities, they have to come out and they have to investigate and they have to see what's going on. Um, don't be afraid to go out there and talk to them because at the end of the day, let me explain some to you. You got guns, we got guns. Right, we ain't scared, you know what I'm saying? So, but the only difference between us having guns and them having guns is my gun is basically used to protect my family, my property, okay? And from any intruders that come into the house and so forth and so on, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't walk around with a gun, you know, flashing on people, you know what I'm saying? Throwing it all on people's faces or whatever. You don't do stuff like that. That's unnecessary. That's unnecessary actions that should not be taking place. It needs to be some type of law prohibiting this gentleman from actually walking around with this gun. Now, the story said he did, he's been doing this for months, okay? I understand you want to pr protest and so forth and so on. Someone needs to say something before something happens. You all know that I've done several videos on mass shootings, on kids on the school bus, on parents going loco, so forth and so on. I've done several videos on this, you know what I'm saying? And this is not what I want to take place around children. It's, 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 not, it's not a good combination. It's definitely not a good combination. We as parents, we need to step up and fight back, okay? If we ain't fighting back, then who's gonna fight back for us? Ain't nobody gonna step up to the plate for us but us. Who's gonna protect our kids? We are, that's it. No one else is gonna protect our kids, and we thinking that somebody will protect our kids, but they're not. It's gonna be us to protect our kids. So if you don't have the, the, you know, the intestinal fortitude to go out there and stand up to these fools, okay, and let them know how you feel about the situations and circumstances, that's taking place right in, right before your eyes, okay? Um, then I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. You as a person has to step up and, you know, you see something like this, mention it. You know what I mean? Don't just hold it in. Tell your friends. Tell your family members, you know? Hell, call the authorities if you feel like you need to. Get people like this off the streets. They do not need to be on the streets. Why do you have an AR-15? What is the purpose for you having an AR-15? I don't get it. I don't get it. And then around children? No. You definitely don't need it. So we gotta do what we gotta do, y'all, to protect these babies. But with that being said, if you like what you've heard, please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button as well. There'll be more awesome, loving, and wonderful people over. Similar to yourself, I'm my normal subscribers. Thanks for coming back. All my new subscribers, welcome. Welcome to AG's POV. Do me a favor. Hit the like button on your way out and come check me out on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. I got, you know, I got some YouTube shorts up. You know what I mean? I'm trying to give you some different clips that I'm seeing and I'm going to share with you guys. You know what I'm saying? It was obviously it was a new story attached to it. And I may have a clip that I might just, you know, just end up just getting the clip. Give you a little brief little, you know, t title on it. And we go from there. You know what I'm saying? So maybe I do a story on it. Some I will, some I won't. Some I've already done stories on. So, um, you know, so go check them out. You know what I'm saying? But in the meantime, between time, I love, I love every single one of y'all. I thank y'all for watching the video to the end. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.